In this tutorial, you will learn about some more advanced modeling tools that will help you in creating complex features of the models. The tools to be discussed in this tutorial are RIB, Multi-Section Solid, Shell, and so on. The model and the dimension are shown in this slide. This is the final model that you will learn to create in the following slides. Start a new file in Part Workbench. As you have noticed earlier that toolbars are in floating condition, so to fix the positon of required toolbars, choose Tools from the menu bar, and select the Customize option from the contextual menu. Next choose the Options tab from the Customize dialog box, and select the Lock Toolbar Position checkbox, and close the dialog box. To create a base feature, choose the Sketch button and select ZX Plane. Draw the sketch as shown in the slide and exit from the Sketcher workbench. Choose the Peg button. Create the base feature by extruding a semicircular sketch drawn on the ZX Plane to both sides of the sketching plane using the Pad tool. You need to set 40 mm in the length spinner. After creating the base feature, you need to create the second feature of the model, which is a rib feature. To create it, you first need to sketch the center curve and profile. Next choose the Sketch button. Select the ZX plane as the sketching plane, and draw the sketch of the center curve. Exit the Sketcher workbench. Next. You need to draw the sketch of the profile on a plane created normal to the sketch drawn earlier. To do so invoke the Plane Definition dialog box. Select the Normal to Curve option from the Plane Type drop-down list if it is not already selected. Select the sketch of the center curve and then select the end point of the horizontal line of the center curve. Choose the OK button. Choose the Sketch button and choose the newly created plane. Draw the sketch of the profile, as shown in the slide. Choose the Rib button from the Sketch-based Features toolbar. The Rib Definition dialog box is displayed, and you are prompted to define the profile. Select the sketch of the profile from the geometry area. Next you are prompted to select the center curve. Select it from the geometry area. The wireframe preview of the rib feature is displayed. Choose the OK button from the dialog box. The model, after creating the rib feature, is displayed. After creating the rib feature, you need to create the multi-section solid feature by lofting the two sections. The first sketch of the multi-section solid feature will be drawn on the front plane or face of the rib feature by projecting its edges. To do so select the Sketch button and select the Planner face from the Geometry area. Choose the Project 3D Elements button from the Operation toolbar. Select the front face of the rib feature. The edges of the selected face are extracted as the elements on the sketching plane and exit from the workbench. To create a new plane choose the Plane button. The Plane Definition dialog box is displayed. Now click on the down row of Plane Type drop-down list. Choose the Offset from Plane option. From the Plane Type drop-down list, set 57 in the Offset Spinner and select the face from the Geometry area, the name of which is displayed in the Reference Selection area. Now choose OK. Select the newly created plane, and invoke the Sketcher workbench. Draw the sketch of the second section of the multi-section solid feature, which is a rectangle. The resulting sketch is displayed. Now exit from the Sketcher workbench. Choose the multi-section solid button. Select the sections drawn earlier from the geometry area. Flip the direction of any one of the closing points 
If they point in the opposite directions, replace the closing point, if required. Flip the direction of any one of the closing points, if they point in the opposite directions. To see preview of the model choose the preview button. Now choose the OK. Fillet the edges of the model by using the edge fillet tool. Set 16.5 mm in the radius spinner. Now select the edges from geometry area. The number of the edges you select from the geometry area is displayed in the object to fillet selection area. The model after creating the fillet is displayed. Next you need to create the shell feature. To do so choose the shell button. Set the value of the default inside thickness spinner to 3. And select the front planar face and bottom planar face of the model that is displayed in the faces to remove edit box. Choose the OK button from dialog box. The model, after shelling, is displayed. To create the next feature you need to invoke Sketcher Workbench by selecting XY plane. Draw the sketch as shown in the slide and exit from Sketcher Workbench. Choose the Peg button to invoke the Pad Definition dialog box. Set for MM in the length spinner and choose OK. Next you need to create this pocket feature. To do so invoke the pocket definition dialog box. And draw the sketch of pocket feature, as shown in the following slides. Draw the pocket sketch and exit, from the sketcher workbench. Now choose the OK button. To create the pocket feature, the model after creating the pocket feature is displayed. You can see clear view by using isometric and fit all in tools. Next, you need to create the pattern the pocket feature. To do so choose the pattern button. You can see clear view by using isometric and fit all in tools. Click on the reference element selection area to activate it and the select the surface from the geometry area. Set one in the instances spinner under first direction tab. To set the instances for the second direction, choose the second direction tab from the dialog box. Set four in the instances spinner and 20 in the spacing spinner. Next choose the reverse button and choose the OK button. The pattern has been created. To see the clear view choose fit all in button. Similarly, create the pad in pocket feature on the other side. The final model, after creating all features, is displayed.